Yes, you know, and it, it's it's very interesting how you know two separate episodes. Oh, like two different worlds came together at a for a brief moment in time, essentially. And so it, you know, this is going back in oh, the heart of 2020, the heart of the pandemic, where it was just the world was so chaotic at that time. And so essentially, we my husband and I were scheduled to get married May of 2020. Then everything came to a standstill in March. And as we were, we were thinking that this was just gonna be like a cold, you know, as we everyone probably thought at some point. And as we went from month to month and we kept postponing, we were just like, clearly this is going into going in a, in a direction, uh, you know, different from what we thought. And so we, my husband was very adamant about not continuing to put off starting our lives together as a married couple. So he was just like, you know, regardless of what's happening with the pandemic and everything, let's still get married. And so I didn't want to go to a courthouse. So I was just like, I don't want a courthouse wedding. I I want a traditional looking wedding um, to start our lives together. And so as we were going about things, we came across this ad through the, the hotel we got married at. And they said, hey, our buildings are shut down, but we have a courtyard outside that we're still going, we're going to offer people who were affected by the pandemic and unable to get married the way they traditionally wanted to, but we'll give you one hour in time. So they had a couple of days that they were offering in June and they said, we'll give you one hour of time for you to come together. You could do whatever you want to do on the courtyard. If you wanted to bring some flowers, you could do that. If you wanted to have pictures, we have a photographer we'll offer you, but you could bring your own to have your wedding. So I saw the ad and the ad came out right before all the protesting started. And it was like maybe two weeks before that. And so we were like, you know, we're going to pick one of these dates and we'll pick an hour and we'll just get married. And it's not a courtyard, but it's not a wedding. You know, we're okay. So we privately planned to get some of our closest friends and family together on the courtyard for one hour of time on a Saturday. Then that week, all everything with George Floyd, Floyd just started coming about, and um, you know all the chaos that was surrounding that. And so, two it was three days before that date, we had already re-engraved all of our rings and everything for the new date, and we we're just like, "This is where we're getting married." And we were notified that there was going to be a protest very close to the courtyard. And so, with that. We were just like, listen, we're not doing this again. We're not canceling. We're not changing. And we're just going to go forward and we're still going to get married. And hopefully we're not really affected by it. The night before, the city of Philadelphia had us shut down. And they said, listen, we will not be able to enter into this space because they found out about the protest. Mm -hmm. And they're like, this is probably going to be large. And we're going to limit access. And the courtyard where it's in the middle of this shutdown. So this is like midnight the night before. We said to everyone, listen, we need you to come into the city before it shuts down. Because there's going to be a protest and there's going to be a limit. So we did all of that. We got everyone here in one hotel room, downtown Philly. Mm -hmm. And we got to the event site for our one hour period on the courtyard which happens to be in the same moment that the protesters were passing by the courtyard. Wow. So literally the reason why this moment even happened is because I had left my flowers, my bouquet in the hotel. My videographer ran back to the hotel to grab it. As I'm waiting there to get started for a one hour session that we had on the courtyard, here goes the protesters. The protesters were literally passing by and we didn't even realize that it would be in the exact vicinity, but they were walking by. And when I tell you, it was a moment in which everyone felt that there is hope and life in our future, including us. Um, if you had heard my, my vows to my husband that I had written five months before, and I, I spoke of him as a black man. And 
what that meant to me in a world that can be harsh on black men. And if you listen to it, you would have thought I wrote it in the middle of the protest, like literally. And the two worlds came together for literally a matter of maybe about two, three minutes. The protesters passed by and the love that we had for the largest protest in Philadelphia history. Wow. But the way they, they loved the idea and what they were seeing with a wedding that was undergoing with two black people in a time of hate, you felt so much love coming from all different colors of people, everyone involved in that protest. We came together in a moment in time, in a short moment of time with one goal, which is support life, love, and unity. And that's what happened in a brief period of time, completely unplanned. My husband and I saw ourselves for the first time that day in that protest as we were surrounded by hundreds and thousands of people supporting love uh, for us, but love for humanity and love for Black people. So that's how our world started. That's how our journey together started. But that was really what happened in that moment. And so some people are just like, well, we went to the protest. No, we met. The, the protest and our, our plans together crossed for a very short period of time. And as quickly as it started, literally, is as quickly as the protest continued on and our wedding started. And so it was it was before we got married. We got our first look in the middle of that protest. Um, and it was it was a very magical moment. Wow, thank you so much for sharing that. Cause I, I was looking at the pictures online. I mean, them them is some really, really uh beautiful pictures. And like they say, pictures is worth a thousand words, and that you know, just to hear you you know, retell the story. That's phenomenal. That's, that's really phenomenal. Yeah, Have you thought about doing like a, uh, well, I don't know if you thought about it, but that I'm just imagining it. Like you very descriptive about it. That could be like in a film or something, you know? Yeah, it was, it was very, very magical. It was like, you know, it's something that could be on plan. Like if you wanted to create such a situation, it really, you, you, there's no way that you could have done it. You know, it was yeah, pretty magical. Up. Them pictures going to be around for, for years. People going to always, you know, compare that with the time period of what was going on. You know how we look back at old civil rights pictures mm -hmm. and people, you know, just doing certain mm -hmm. poses just at the right moment. You know, y'all definitely going to be in the history books. <laughs> That's what people say. <laughs> yeah. Now, OK, now let me ask you this. Um, If the viewers, if they want to connect with you, they want to see more of your videos, they want to, you know, learn more. Um, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, you know, so on all platforms, my handles are the same across the board. So it's call me Dr. P. So C A L L, doctor, you spell it out D O C T O R, period, P. Um, and so that's on Instagram, that's on TikTok, that's on YouTube. I'm excited about my YouTube channel because we're going on one year starting it and we're growing with our subscribers. Um, but our, our, you know, overall, the platform is really about education and really helping us. And so if you want to dive into your health and well-being and learning about your body, and I, I do a variety of things from the pregnancy side as well as GYN side, um, you can find me there. And as well as my website, we're doing a relaunch of the website because we have um, started a, a lot of new things coming in the year where you can tap into reaching and getting information live and bringing a lot of experts and information to the world um, so that you can learn more about your body. And so um, my website is callmedrp.com. And so if you want to get information about that, especially with the relaunch and the new programs um, that are going to be available to the community starting next year, you can join the newsletter. And so with that, you know that it's coming to your inbox and you're getting first dibs into all the beautiful things and, and resources that I'm providing. So that, again, my goal is to empower each and every one of us. You know, I'm, I'm not motivated by anything else but to help us live our best lives as people, as females, as individuals, as, as humans. 
And so uh, if you want to tap into that, you can call me drp.com and just sign up for the newsletter and you get lots of information on hormones, hormone balance and how to prevent different things, um, different supplements and minerals and herbs that mm -hmm. you know is recommended to help you in your journey to wellness and so much more, just, just a ton of information. So those are the options out there. We got a bunch of them and whatever flows to both. Um, I'm somewhere there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Queen. I really, really, really appreciate you taking the time to come out on the platform. I apologize about the delays. Okay. Um, the information was very, very impactful. I'm still processing some of it. So I'm sure the viewers are going to, you know, tap back in with you. Absolutely. Yes. And thank you for having me here. And thanks for having this platform. You know, it's, you know, there's, there's so much room for us to reach so many people and, right. and how, however we can to help humanity and to, to keep love and humanity um, alive. I think we should do that. And I think you're doing an amazing job. So thank you so much for the invitation. And I, I hope that this was somewhat beneficial to your, your viewers. Definitely, definitely. Got to thank the viewers for tuning in. So until next time, family, it's been a phenomenal episode of Taye Speaks. Till next time. Peace. Take care.